Yo, what's good guys? It is your boy Jason JV saying work to another reaction video and yes guys don't worry um, I still plan on releasing the uh, second half of the top 10 creepypastas uh, that will be coming up shortly or at least after this uh, reaction that we're about to get into you know what I'm saying so yeah it's it's on the way all right it's on the way bear with me but I really want to get into this Johnny Cashville video because <laughs> this one has a very interesting title to it it's called uh, parents I'm sorry, but you got to beat your kids. <laughs> and he's got the uh, the uh, laughing emoji with the tears coming out of the eyes. So, uh, yeah, pretty much know what this one's going to be all about. Let's go into full screen mode before we forget. And let's check our levels before we get caught slipping. And um, it looks like we're good to go. So, yeah, guys, once again, this is Johnny Cashville with uh, Parents. I'm sorry, but you got to beat your kids with the uh, teary-eyed laughing emoji. So, without further ado, I'd like to hear, here go. Badass kids get on my nerves. If you have badass kids, raise your hand. <laughs> yeah, my kids are bad. Fuck. <laughs> I gotta do something about these motherfuckers. <laughs> these little son bitches cry about everything. And you know why that is? Because they're not used to hearing the word new. I mean, seriously, how hard is it to tell your kids new? No. When they have to ask for every little thing. Oh, can I have this? Can I have that? No. Is it your birthday? Then no. Is it Christmas? Well, then guess what? No. Did you do your homework? Oh, what? You, you, you didn't do your homework. You're doing bad in school. Then guess what? No. I'm just saying. I can't do nothing without hearing... One of them crying. <laughs> Whiny ass little some bitches. <laughs> what part of no means no that you don't understand? You Thank you. <laughs> you know how many times I've said that in the last 12 years? The little motherfucker still don't know that no means no. <laughs> well, since I refuse to raise some hellions, every once in a while, you gotta beat your kid. Like... Literally, put your kid in a chokehold and beat the shit out of him with a belt. It helps. One Speaking of belt weapons, bro, I remember when I was little, bro. Let me tell y'all something. When I was little, right, me and my brother, we, we, we would fight over the uh, TV sometimes, right? And then here, all of a sudden, here comes my dad with this special belt that he had, right, where, where his name was on the belt buckle. Yeah, this is some special custom-made belt that he had. You know what I mean? I'll, I'll never forget that belt. Oh, God. The whippings I got with that belt. Bruh. But anyway, we were, speaking of whippings, we were, um, my brother and I, we were fighting over the TV or whatever, and I guess my, our, our parents can hear us. You know what I mean? And so my dad came in and started beating the shit out of, out of both of us. You know what I'm saying? Because, uh, I mean, I, mean I, 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 I didn't understand it at the time, but now I get it. You see, my dad, uh, he, he works from 6 in the morning until 2 30 in the afternoon right all week and so on the weekends you know i mean hey i get it man you want you want to sleep in man because you were busting ass all all week so when the weekend comes around yeah you, you want to sleep in i get it you know what i mean so i i, I don't blame them because then i mean look, look at me now you don't see me out there with these dumb asses like lighting shit up on fire and getting to fight some motherfuckers and shit no my hands are clean and my nose has been clean you know what i'm saying Bruh, and that's facts. The uh, magic, the, the uh, magic of belt whippings, will set. It, it's enough to set any bad kid straight. Bruh. One thing I don't allow my kids to do, I don't allow them to talk back, and I don't allow them to steal. If I ever catch my kids stealing, yeah, I'm gonna do this. Oh, 
bro, when 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 I when I become a dad, that's gonna be me too. My kid do do something wrong. Oh, Junior. <laughs> Best believe. Bet. Whoop that ass in a circle. Yep. Whoop that ass in a circle. Yep. Fucking P P P D Pablo style. P D Pablo North Carolina style. You know what I'm saying? Just whip his ass like 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 a fucking helicopter, just in a circle. Bruh. He got caught stealing. Mm hmm So he fucking spun him around like a helicopter. And beat the shit out of him with that belt. Like, like I said, North Carolina P D Pablo style. Bruh. Sometimes you just got to put the fear in God in them little badass kids. Fucking kid looks like he was riding a merry-go-round and getting chased by an alligator skin belt. Damn kid look like a fucking professional ice skater trying to get five stars in that bitch. Bruh, I remember when, when, when my nephews were little and shit, right? And they, they, they thought they can they could talk back to to their grandma and shit. But oh no. Oh no. Let, let, let Uncle Jay catch you slipping. Right? Talking back to grandma and giving her attitude and shit. Oh. When I was around, trust me. Them kids. Whatever whatever Nana said to them. Alright. not Whatever Nana wished for, Nana got it. Because Uncle Jay was right there ready to, to uh, regulate. Oh, shit. Hey, when, when my sister gave me the green light, to be like, yeah, hey, whenever the kids act a fool, you got the green light. You can you can spank their behind. You can you can smack their hands. You know what I'm saying? Don't 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 smack the face. You know what I'm saying? Don't don't uh, put them through a table or anything like that. Cause you know we we we, we as uh, wrestling fans, you know what I mean? You 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 could you could you could spank their behind. You could slap the hand and um, put them on timeout. Do what you gotta do. You know what I'm saying? Bitch, that's what he gets. You should have never stole. <laughs> yeah, get your little bad ass. <laughs> Look like a pinata and shit. Like just hanging and getting beat the fuck out of man. Like, like man, like you, you, you were, you were expecting candy to come out of that kid. Uh, <laughs> For real, he had him hanging at some point. It looked, looked like a carousel because he was going up and down and shit. Looks like a carousel. <laughs> oh shit! Ass over here, Nancy Kerry, gonna take that ass whooping. That's the true definition of beat you like you stole something, Jack. Bro, that's facts. <laughs> oh, beat you like you stole something. That's facts. That is that is the true definition right there. That's for damn sure. Let me see one of these fucking little badass kids getting whooped on like that in public by their daddy. <laughs> I'm going to jump in, <laughs> whip my belt off. Hey, you need some help, Jack? You need some help? You cool? You cool? I got you. I'm right here. I got your back up. I got you six. <laughs> and I can't stand them fucking pants. Oh, I'm going to beat my kids. No, we use the timeout method. Hey, look, I'm not completely against the timeout method, but... The timeout method alone won't do jack shit. Like I said earlier, I sometimes use the timeout method, but um, when I had to, I had to whoop that ass. I had to regulate. You know what I'm saying? When the time called for it, I had to regulate. Bruh. If you want your kids to have timeout, all you gotta do is regulate on them, and they're gonna get the timeout anyway, because they're gonna need time to recover. And time to think about what they did and why they got that ass whooping. Did this bitch just say that time? You see, the uh, timeout method is what caused all these motherfuckers to form this group called Antifa, BLM. You know what I'm saying? And go and fucking uh, wreak havoc on the uh, on, on on freaking the uh, cities. You know what I mean? On these businesses and on these peoples. You know what I mean? Because they're just not used to hearing no. That's what that is. A bunch of babies out in the street throwing a temper tantrum because they never heard no a single time in their lives. So yeah, parents, those of you who believe in just a timeout method, yeah, you the problem. Okay? We just narrow down what the problem is around here, and that's y'all dumbasses. Timeout method. 
Well, pass me the gray poupon looking ass lady. <laughs> that shit ain't gonna work. Bitch, this ain't school. This ain't in school suspension. Bitch, this ain't no time out. This ain't go to the corner. This ain't take the TV. This ain't take the PlayStation. No. This is whoop a kid's ass season. I told my son like this, I got to teach you, so I got to beat you. <laughs> and if I don't beat you, I ain't going to reach you. Bruh, I remember when, when, when my dad wasn't whooping my ass for being a bad motherfucker, man. Dude, my mom would, would, would fucking hit me with something. Now, to those to, to, to the Hispanic brothers and sisters that, that may be watching, y'all probably know where I'm going with this. How many of y'all ha ha had um, a, a mama that would whoop your ass with la chancla? Oh yeah, so, like I said, all my Hispanic slash Mexican brothers and sisters, they, they would know what La Chancla is. For those of you who don't know what La Chancla is, that was the sandal. And you got, if you got whipped with one of those, oh, whew, you must have did something real bad. And if it wasn't the, the uh, La Chancla, then it was, um, uh, I remember my mom, she had like the, uh, the uh, wooden, um, um, fucking spoon, fork, and Kind of like, you know, decode for, for like the kitchen or whatever. And she'd get the wood spoon. She would use that too. She would, Sometimes she would use a clothes hanger. How many of y'all got spanked with a clothes hanger? Bruh. Bruh. And if she didn't have a, an object to use, then she would get her hand. And she would just ask God, like, you know what I mean? To get, just look to God like, 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 Father and Lord, please give me the, the strength that I'm going to need in this hand to, uh, to freaking spank the freaking shit out of my kid for acting a straight fool. Bruh. Bruh. Oh, yeah. Trust me, man. I got regulated on plenty of times. Got sent to my room plenty of times. Shit. Bruh. And, and was told that, man, you couldn't leave the kitchen table until you're done eating all of your food, including your veggies. And what would I do? Being that it was dinner time, it was kind of late anyway. <laughs> no joke. When I was little, I used to put uh, the two kitchen chairs together. And I'd be like, all right. If I can't leave here on my own, I'll just crash out right here. And then I get carried to my room. <laughs> so I got to leave the table anyway. <laughs> oh, yeah. Trust me, man. My, my parents, they, 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 they love me enough to, hey, man, they, they disciplined me when they need to. And then, you know, they uh, spoiled me, you know what I'm saying, when, when I earned it. You know what I'm saying? When they felt that I earned it. Bruh. And don't run. It's going to make it worse. Quit tightening your butt cheeks up like that. It looks funny. And if you put your hand in the way, I'm going to take that son of a bitch off too. <laughs> Moral of the story is, parents, don't be a pussy. Buy you a belt or stick mm -hmm. or lead pipe or a rusty screwdriver. Get one of those uh, kendo sticks. Bro, I heard those things hurt like a son of a bitch. Fucking whoop that kid's ass with a kendo stick. See how quick, uh, the, see how, how, how quick they fucking turn around. Bro. My mom even hit me with an iron one time. But I turned out all right. Damn, I never have, I never been hit with, with, with an iron before. I've been burned with an iron before, but now hold up. But before people go crazy in the comment section, it was an accident. Um, my mom, uh, what she would do is she would iron my my uh, my uh, school clothes. You know what I mean for, uh, for, for at least the uh, on the day of school. You know what I mean. She'll she'll iron like like the clothes I'll be wearing for that particular day and whatever. And um, I was I was still pretty much like half asleep. I was waking up, and then. I mean, come on, naturally, when you're waking up, right, you're going to want to stretch out and everything. You want to stretch because you're trying to get all that sleep out of you, right? And I accidentally um, touched the iron with, with, my, with my big toe. And that burned like a son of a bitch. And I had to miss school that day because of that. Bruh. Bruh. So that, that was my bad. That wasn't my mama's bad. That, that was my bad. You know what I mean? My mama, I mean, you know, on her end, it, it was an accident. You know what I mean? I, I, I didn't play for it. It was an accident. And then, uh, and I know for a fact she learned a lesson because uh, ever since then, um, she would iron my my clothes in her room, <laughs> so that way I wouldn't burn myself. That way I can properly wake up, I can stretch out, do what I need to do to wake up, 
and then get ready to go to school. So, you know, it was an accident. It happens. Bruh. I got my ass beat. You got badass kids, you got to be a badass parent. All right, y'all. So that was Johnny Cashfield with Parents. I'm sorry, but you got to beat your kids with the laughing emoji, with the teary eyes. And uh, yeah, man, I agree with agree with Cashville 100. Actually, no, 1,000 percent. Because like I said, I feel like that's that's the problem we have nowadays, man. This freaking corporal corporal punishment. You know what I mean? This this, this uh, lack of discipline, bruh, bruh. We need to bring that back. You know what I'm saying? We need to bring that back. You know what I mean? And let and let the uh, the uh, next generation know who's fucking boss around here. And uh, you know what I mean? And let them know like, hey. This is what happens when you act a straight fool, man. You, for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. So, uh, best tread lightly, or else you're gonna get regulated on. What what does what does um what does uh, daddy mean by getting regulated on? Oh well, well, hopefully you won't have to find out. Brett. Brett. So yeah, y'all. Things got to change around here. We got we got to do something about this whole, um, you know, we got we got to bring back the proper discipline, the proper punishments. You know what I mean? That these badass kids need to have. You know what I'm saying? Because it's it's amazing how nowadays, oh, it's it's child abuse, it's child abuse. I can't believe you did it to your kid, man. I just put my kid on time out. I I have lecture. I I lecture my kid, bruh. Lecturing ain't gonna do shit. It goes in one ear and out the other. Time out. Sometimes work, it, it depends, but you also got to let the kid know who's boss by, you know, again, like Cash will say, man, you got to regulate on him, you got to whoop that ass, whoop that ass, you know what I mean? And hey, like I said earlier, you whoop that ass, that kid's going to need time out anyway to freaking think about what he did, why he got the ass whooping of a lifetime, and um, he's going to he's gonna have time out anyway to, to freaking recover while he's thinking about all that shit. I'm just saying. Anyways, y'all, hopefully you guys are feeling this reaction as much as I'm feeling this video from our man Johnny Cashville. I wanted to react to this video because uh, Johnny uh, just did a, uh, or yeah, he did a live stream with our boys uh, Tim from Triple T and our boys um, um, Mikey D. Shout out to both Tim and Mikey D, by the way, if you guys are watching this. You know what I'm saying? So I felt like this would be the right time. You know what I mean? Being that this is a brand new, fresh video for my man Johnny Cashfield to react to. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, the second half for the top 10 creepypastas is still on the way. So don't don't sweat. It's, it's coming. All right? It's coming. And uh, yeah, until then, uh, like I said earlier, man, hopefully you guys are digging this reaction as much as I'm digging this video. If you are, you know what to do with that thumbs up down below. You know what to do with that comment section down below. And if you're new here, welcome. Thank you for your view. Very much appreciate that. And uh, hopefully I did enough for you to consider clicking that subscribe button so you can be part of the Jason JV Ranger Squad. We'd love to have you as part of the team. Yeah, what I mean? Don't forget to follow me, of course, on my social media links that you see on the screen. Along And don't forget to check out my music links, some of which you can find in the video description down below. Some of which you can find in my channel bio. And uh, if you want to just donate to the cause, you can click the PayPal link. That's going to be in the video description down below as well. If you can't support the channel financially, no worries. It is all good. It's not a requirement. You are still helping out, however, by simply just clicking that subscribe button, which doesn't cost a single red cent, but still greatly appreciated. And uh, don't forget to like and share my video so more eyes can be on the channel. Because remember, teamwork makes the dream work. You best believe. I can't do this without y'all. I recognize. And uh, yeah, I think I nailed everything, guys. So with all that being said, it is your boy, Jason JV. So y'all take care. Have a blessed one. I'll catch you on the next one. All right, peace.